My name is Art Shimura, and I'm not a kidney cancer survivor, I'm a caregiver. My wife, Julie, is an 11 year survivor. We live in Seattle, Washington. Julie has the unusual situation of having had tumors in both kidneys. When she was first discovered in 2000, uh, the first urologist that she went to immediately saw the tumor in her right kidney and it was in the center of the kidney and he wanted to immediately take out the whole kidney. She didn't feel good about it. She walked into his uh, waiting room and there were a whole bunch of guys there talking about their prostate cancers. She was the only woman in the place. So she decided she'd get a second opinion. She got a second, she got a third, they all said the same thing, the tumor is too difficult. So she eventually ended up with a fourth doctor and it was that fourth doctor that was the first one to notice from the very same CT slides the tumor on her other kidney. Had she gone with those first three doctors, she would have been perilously close to losing all kidney function. So since that time, we have become very interested and active in learning all that we can about kidney cancer. And it turns out that's one of the best things you can do when you have this disease. We've attended probably eight of the various national seminars held by the uh, Kidney Cancer Association for Parents and Caregivers. We've learned a lot. Um, and when her kidney tumor was found to recur in 2003 and she was at the depths of depression, we got help from other kidney cancer survivors, Janice Hahn here in Chicago, who was able to explain to her that she's been living successfully on a quarter of only one kidney. So the second key thing besides being very involved and learning all you can is get help from other survivors. Learn what they know. And then on top of that, we had to do something about making her feel better, and Julie was talked into starting a support group in the Seattle area. We're a little remote from most of the major areas where there are support groups. So for the last eight years, Julie has led a support group at Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. We're hosted by Dr. Thompson, but we end up pulling together the program, and we have 15 to 20 to 25 people every time we do it. We do it about five times a year, and every time it's an uplift, not just for the people who are there for the first time, but for Julie herself. Talking to the other people and helping share the load seems to make a big difference. There's another resource that I want to mention. The Kidney Cancer Association has a wonderful website with lots of resources, and they have a book, We Have Kidney Cancer. You can read Julie's story in there, by the way. Uh, and these are all resources that can help you with your education. Uh, as a caregiver, my role is to just basically keep her going and buck her up. Today she's not doing so good because of some of those complications from all of the eight surgeries she's had on her abdomen, but we'll get through this and we'll do just fine. And I'm hopeful for uh, her to be able to enjoy the rest of the conference that we're in today. And we're, as soon as we get back to Seattle on the 28th, we're gonna host another meeting and people have already begged us to make it happen before they fly down to Arizona.